And we are back, folks. We had a crash. Super annoying. And it's on us. Even uh, even uh, 616 Ian, he said, don't pre-order, don't buy the game. You're part of the problem. I, I did. I held out. And then I eventually pre-ordered. So I, I looked at I, like I looked at this. Everything looked good. It looked clean. Still, uh, it's still very fun. Still, a lot of issues to be worked out. So, uh, hopefully, they can get that addressed rather soon. Well, now we got a. Well, unfortunately, these matches didn't save, but we know who the winners were. So, we can go on with that. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's turn entrances off. Maybe that will prevent the game from crashing again. But this is part two. You're looking at the uh, upload on YouTube. You're going to need to watch part one right before the game crashed on us. And we're not even using created people. These are in-game characters. Like I, I understand the crashing issues when folks are using custom creations. But this is, there's nothing custom about this. All right, match about to get away is gonna be a good one. We're actually joined by a very special superstar. Look at this! Hey, it's the Damian Priest. So much like, much like Dolph Ziggler, or I should say Sami Zayn, rather, came out to watch the Finn Balor Angelo Dawkins match. Damian Priest is gonna be scouting his competition. Well, and. The commentator saying they're joining him on commentary, but there's no commentary table out there. So Priest watching closely. Interesting developments here. And we are underway. Nakamura, the number one contender to the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. He won that triple threat matchup involving Finn Balor. Oh, how about that? It's also involving Ricochet. Ricochet's had a bad about, bout of bad luck, and Sami Zayn's been trying to convince Ricochet to join up on his side, the conspiracy theorist. Because Ricochet's been the victim of a couple of conspiracy theories as of late. From his WrestleMania ladder match that ended in disappointing fashion to his controversial triple threat match with Nakamura. Where the referee counted from one to three. And uh, Nakamura is going to confront Damian Priest. It looks like you can't do anything to Priest, huh? Nakamura really wants to take out Priest. But there's nothing that can be done about it. Collar elbow tie up here. Big matchup, too, for Apollo Crews. He's able to get the win. He's going to insert himself right into the U.S. Championship picture. A former Intercontinental Champion, such as he is. I mean, kick by Shinsuke Nakamura. And Nakamura all over Apollo Crews. There's the tie-up. Need in the midsection, and Nakamura with the axe kick. Taking down Crews and the cover onto Apollo Crews. Almost a three count. Nakamura nearly got the quick win and looking over at his WrestleMania backlash opponent. Apollo Crews with the strength has Nakamura and power slams him. Another, we've seen a lot of British Bulldog tributes today. We saw Bianca Belair with the power slam. Now we just saw the, the Gorilla Press. Nakamura slides under. Stomping away onto Apollo Crews. Ooh. Crews knocking Nakamura back. Still got plenty of action here. Let, wait a minute now. We got ourselves a cut scene. Here we go. Confrontation between future opponents. And that was not good. Damian Priest says, hey, my hands are clear of this. Priest causing the distraction to Shinsuke Nakamura. Unbelievable. Wow, standing shooting star press there by Apollo Cruz. 
He hit the double dose. And Nakamura just thrown shoulder first into the mats on the outside. Here comes Cruz following up. Couple of rolling German suplexes. Wow. And that hurts on the floor, too. They hurt in general, but you do that on the floor? Forget it. Nakamura has not been the same since the distraction by Damian Priest and the sneak attack by Apollo Crews. Crews back into the ring. And back out, though. Here comes Nakamura. Oh, into the steps. Nakamura not happy. Did Priest leave? Where's Damian Priest at? That chair is still at ringside. That could be dangerous. That could be used as a weapon. This is looking like the women's triple threat match from earlier. This brawl on the outside of the ring. Into the barricade. Nakamura. Head back in. Is Priest still up? Look, Priest might be out of here. I don't know. Nakamura's checking. Collision there. Oh, drop kick hit by Apollo Cruz. Cruz going up top. We got a stand. Oh, he knew. Nakamura was trying to bait Cruz in. Cruz didn't buy it. Look out. This could be it for Nakamura. This U.S. Championship match could suddenly turn in to a triple threat. No. Counter by Nakamura. Nakamura, he's going to go for some yes kicks. Just rocking Apollo Crews. Kick to the head. Keen Shaza hit by Nakamura. The cover and Apollo Crews kicks out at two. How about that? Oh my goodness. Cruz fighting back into this one. The Apollo Nation. Picking up Nakamura. Angle slam. It could be an upset in the making here. And a kick out. Well, not an upset. I mean, Nakamura. He's a former Intercontinental Champion. Apollo Crews also a former Intercontinental Champion. You'd say they're on pretty even footing, but considering the momentum Nakamura has winning that triple threat over Ricochet and Finn Balor, he would hate to lose this one, but obviously he's focused on Damian Priest right now, causing issues. Off the top turnbuckle, Crews. Oh, man, knee across the throat. How about it? How about it? Like Pete Rose. WrestleMania 15. How about it? Up top, we're going to see another shooting star press. And instead, it's going to be a frog splash in the cover here. And Apollo Crews is going to take down Nakamura. So the distraction... It worked out. Nakamura could not get focused. And all of a sudden, well, that could, uh, that could end up hurting Damian Priest. Because now we could have a triple threat match at WrestleMania Backlash. Well, big win for Apollo Crews taking down the number one contender to the U.S. Championship. Look at that smile. That's a smirk right there. He knows. He knows he stole one. There you go. We got a built rivalry continuing.
So now we got the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. Taking on AJ Styles. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida. Weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph. Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler. Led to the ring. By his tag team partner of the Dirty Dogs, Robert Roode, and coming back to the WWE, the new bodyguard, Diesel. Going to be the tag team matchup. Dolph Ziggler and Diesel going up against Roderick Strong and Tommaso Ciampa at WrestleMania Backlash. And here comes the phenomenal one. He defeated Edge. He defeated Edge at WrestleMania Backlash, but it was Edge who took that defeat, came in, beat Roman Reigns, got himself a title match. Meanwhile, AJ Styles, he had the fatal five-way. He came up short, and he had the match with Johnny Gargano. But now he's trying to get back on track here with this match against the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. Here we go. Oh, watch out, ref, now. It's a main event anywhere in the country, man. Ziggler and Styles. And we're going to look at the NXT card after this, too, as per usual. Simulate through it, but. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. How about it? Some people. You know, the chatter's already starting. Dull Ziggler, the new Shawn Michaels, especially going out and getting Diesel. Bringing back the bodyguard. Not Kevin Nash. It ain't Nash out there. I mean, it is Nash. But he didn't come back as Kevin Nash. He came back as Diesel, Ziggler's bodyguard. Kick out there by Ziggler. Ooh, miscalculation there by Styles. I believe this is our uh, last match for the main event, right? We're quickly approaching the end of this one. Dolph Ziggler. Half crab locked in, and that's why he's got this opportunity here by winning the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Getting this shot against the former WWE champion. The man that pinned the number one contender to the Undisputed Championship at SmackDown. AJ Styles. This is a big match here for Dolph. AJ obviously outnumbered, though, with Ziggler's friends outside. Cover here by Styles. Many quick covers by AJ. He needs to teach the rest of the computers to make these quick covers. Oh, how about that shot by Ziggler? Missed drop kick there. Neck breaker. Styles. He miscalculated again. A couple of times he's gotten hit. Ziggler blocking on the sleeper hold here. Styles, though, not worn enough. He fights out of that. AJ. Again, heading up top. Ziggler suckered in AJ. He's going to hit the ropes and drop kick 
Styles from behind. Dropping AJ. AJ getting to his feet. Ziggler's right there. Wait a minute. Oh my God, it's a quick zigzag. Could this one be over in minutes? Styles. Oh, Styles kicks out. Yeah, I thought he hit that one a little early. But man, oh man. That was almost it. Ziggler going for it again. Wait a minute, referee. You got to watch Ziggler's feet. They are just countering left and right. Ziggler and Styles. Styles with a face full of Ziggler. And another counter. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Styles going into no man's land on the outside of the ring. How can we tell our uh, managers to go after him? Two. Styles is rocked right now. Yeah, an outside the ring pose down. Three. Off the ropes. Ziggler. Clotheslined. But beheaded Styles. Up top. Misses with the big splash. That was bad. AJ. DDT. Perfectly executed. Onto the Zigman. Oh, a block by Ziggler, though. How about Dolph Ziggler with the block? V Trigger hits it onto Styles in the cover. AJ Styles at 2 and 2.9. He kicks out. Ziggler is going to hit one more. No, it's countered. Styles counters the zigzag. Styles backbreaker. Neckbreaker. Countered by Ziggler. Running clothesline. What a matchup. This whole show's been stacked with lights out matchups. Think about where we started that opening contest. The fatal four way. We still got the huge six man tag team main event ahead of us. Forearm shot. Styles. Oh, countered again. Ziggler. He's got AJ scouted, man. Oh, up and over. Cover. Styles out at two. Ziggler putting AJ down. It is a calf crusher locked in to Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler fighting it with all he's got. He's going to back elbow AJ. Knocking Styles down. What a fight. Famous, sir. Covered by Ziggler. Ziggler's about to walk backstage and pass Brock Lesnar and say, follow this. This is your Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. Zigzag countered by AJ again. Styles. Scorpion death drop. Wow. Concussion City. Could be the phenomenal forearm. Watch out. He hits it. Ziggler's rocked right now. No. Ziggler kicks out. Feltzer's giving out four-star matches like nobody's business. Moonsault. Could it be the Styles Clash? Could we be setting up for the Styles Clash, folks? No. Countered by Ziggler. Countered by Styles. One man Spanish fly. Ziggler rolls out of the way and, and Styles crashes and burns. Super kick countered by AJ. AJ, Brain Buster. Oh my God, what a match. Four and a half stars. Phenomenal forearm. 
Hits it again. Ziegler. Has been pinned by the phenomenal AJ Styles. Wow. That's not going to make Ziggler and company happy. Another phenomenal contest. This, uh, this tag team match. It might turn into another six-man tag. We already got one potential six-man tag. What about Diesel, Ziggler, and Rude against Ciampa, Strong, and Styles? How about that? A phenomenal matchup here. And Styles taking down Ziggler. I can see Styles and Roddy Strong and Tommaso Ciampa getting together. Big win for Styles, knocking off the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. Four and a half stars, says Feltzer. And it is indeed time for our main event matchup. What do you think? Should we watch this one or just let... Uh, just let uh, I'm gonna let I want to let the computer handle this one. There's some matches I don't know who I want to win, and I'll just let the computer handle it. We'll see how this plays out. Let's do it. Your main event of the evening. This is what we have all been building to, and it only seems fitting to have this six-man tag team match here. Knowing that we're probably going to have two six-man tag matches at WrestleMania Backlash. Here's a former WWE champion in Big E. We got a lot of entrances, so we're not going to do all of them. And here comes probably the shock of them all, folks. I'm not sure where many people placed Edge after he got beat by AJ Styles at WrestleMania. But then Edge had a match with Roman Reigns on SmackDown. And Edge beat Roman Reigns, folks. I mean, he beat him, pinned him. And earned the number one contenders matchup here. At WrestleMania Backlash. Weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R superstar, Edge. So there you go, Edge, and their tag team partner, Brock Lesnar. The Beast. And if you're new to our universe, haven't seen the old episodes, Brock got cost his unification match at WrestleMania by Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali. And Retribution and Roman Reigns all became a team. They united. They got on the same page. Roman Reigns, the next night, kicked the Usos to the curb. Added Retribution as his new bloodline. And the rest is history, as they say. And there is your undisputed champion, Roman Reigns. And he's going to be teaming up with members of his new bloodline. For the first time. Opponents, first, from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Roman Reigns. Yeah, 
There is the undisputed champ. We'll let this one ride out a little bit more. You can see the champ with the belt. Brock Lesnar bails out. How about that? But who would have guessed it? Roman Reigns. And Retribution. And here comes Mace and T-Bar to team with the Undisputed Champ for the first time. Shut it down, shut it down. You gotta imagine. Gotta imagine the theme since we can't play it here. Here we go. We are underway. Six man tag, we'll see how long this goes. He's been known to go a while, but. Let's see, winner for the long haul. Well, Roman Reigns already tagging out to T-Bar. T-Bar. T-Bar and Big E, E and T. Most recently, we saw Big E teaming up with Booker T. It's part of the new Harlem Heat, Big E and Booker T. First time we're seeing Roman Reigns and members of Retribution teaming up. Big E. Now, the New Day, they've been having their issues with Retribution. They're the ones that have been fighting with Retribution the most the past year, which is why Big E is in this match. And they had the six man tag at WrestleMania that Retribution won by count out. Edge and Brock desperately won in this one. In comes the undisputed champion. Roman, oh, that boot didn't connect now. Wow, Big E. Now, we already saw one possible championship match affected when Nakamura lost to Apollo Crews if uh, Brock or Big E happen to pin Roman Reigns. Man, that, uh, we can see another, that WrestleMania backlash might just be stacked with multi-man matches, right? Yeah. Edge. But how about how would uh, Brock Lesnar love to get paid back on Edge by getting the win? Edge and Mace going at it now. Oh, how about that? Bulldog from the top and Edge will tag out to Brock. Brock, 10 beats of the Bowron. On to Mace. Two. 
Brock getting fired up into this one. Here comes Mace. Oh, Mace taking Lesnar. You can forget how big Mace and T-Bar are. Now, Retribution is yet to win gold in their year of chaos here in the WWE. Maybe there's a re you know, Adam Pearce hasn't booked them into title matches, but you know, Reckoning and Retaliation might be the first team to win gold here. Retribution. Retribution and Roman Reigns. Undisputed. This is the closest the Retribution's getting to gold as they're teaming up. I mean, think about this. Brock Lesnar, T-Bar, May, Slapjack, Ali, Paul Heyman, all one unit all together. Brock Lesnar now. How about that? Brock tagging out to the number one contender, Edge. Brock knows that the reason this was made, this partnership, this friendship was made between Edge, or I should say Roman and Retribution, was to put a roadblock between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Brock knows he's going to have to go through every single member of Retribution. in order to get to Roman Reigns and get the championship. Unless, you know, maybe Edge gets the title. He's beaten Roman once. It could be Edge. Edge and Brock working well together. You got to think how Brock would think about as the guy that might potentially take the title from Roman before Brock has a chance to, but they're working quite well together. No issues as of yet. Ooh. That didn't feel good to Edge, I can imagine. We have to start uh, playing around with some of the alternate attires coming up here. Maybe every uh, month in Universe we'll give them some new attire or something. That's going to take a lot of work, though. Unfortunately, it does. it's not easy to make all the new attires. It does take quite a while, but... Oof. Edge tagging out. Maybe we'll save it for people that are on pay-per-views. We'll go in and make the different attires, and it can be like their pay-per-view attire, and then that'll be it for the, for the show. Edge execution. Edge nails it onto Mace. And now, uh-oh, this could be it for Retribution and Roman Reigns. The cover. And Roman Reigns is in there. Edge too close to enemy territory. It was easily broken up. And here comes Brock Lesnar. Couple of German suplexes here. Suplex City from Lesnar. Oh, Mace. Mace cracked Lesnar's skull right off the knee there. Not a problem for Brock. Big E, uh, he's been kind of left out of this match a little bit. It's been a lot of Edge and a lot of Lesnar. T-Bar. He's about to get hit with the old SOS. You know what that stands for, don't you? A sack of something. T-Bar snapping Edge back. T-Bar, how about Brock? Taking down T-Bar, but oh, it didn't help at all. Unfortunately for Edge, that did not help. Brock's going to be a little frustrated. Like, wait a minute now. I gave you all that. And it didn't. Oh, DDT by Edge. Edge is going to try to repay T-Bar. High-flying move of his own. The elbow drop nails it. Tagging back into Brock Lesnar. T-Bar's in a bad way right now. Could Brock be setting up for the F5? Maybe the Kimura lock. T-Bar in no man's land. Brock catches him. Oh, uppercut. How about that? 
How about it? There is the Kimura lock. T-bar. And Roman breaks it up. A second possible victory for Team Lesnar, Team Edge, broken up by Roman Reigns. T-Bar trying to cover up with Lesnar trying to give T-Bar the old Randy Orton treatment. There it is, there's the, the blood. You hear me seeing that spill. Big E, a fresh Big E, back in this one, up and over. Here comes Roman Reigns, going up against the former WWE Champion. In fact, the opposite side of the ring, Edge, Big E, Roman, all former WWE Champions. Mace! Hitting the spear on Big E. Oh my goodness. Mace. Sidewalk slam. Back in comes Roman. A lot of good tagging out here by Retribution and Roman Reigns. And now Roman just... Well, he's going to cause some bloodshed onto Big E. Oh my god, Roman. Hammering away on Big E. Back in comes Mace. T-Bar staggering to his feet. He's got a face full of blood. E's got a face full of blood. Mace. Picking up E. Big E, couple elbows. He's out of it. Big E. Just drops Mace like he's nothing. That's a big man. E, he needs to tag out. Oh, I think he was going for Edge. Mace somehow able to break loose. And now Mace. The snake eyes, Big E. Three and a half by Feltzer, belly to belly. Yeah, E really wants to tag out of this one. Now he's getting worn. There we go. The Beast is, what is Brock Lesnar doing? What is Brock Lesnar doing? Oh my God, Brock Lesnar. When have you ever seen that out of the Beast? And Brock. How about a power bomb from the ground level? Again. F5. Better get in there, Edge. At the nick of time, T-Bar breaks it up. Brock tagging out. And Mace is gonna have a second life here as he throws Edge. In comes Roman and we're back to our WrestleMania Backlash Main Event Edge versus Roman Reigns. DDT Edge nails Roman. Edge puts the spear on Roman Reigns. The cover. And it's broken up by T-Bar. Oh man, Edge moments away from pinning Roman Reigns once again. Big E looks to eliminate T-Bar. Here comes Brock Lesnar. Lesnar is going to take Reigns to Suplex City. Well, Reigns is in a bad way right now. Reigns, he might be looking to get pinned again. He could be getting pinned by the Beast. 
F5, the cover. Oh, it's a kick out, no way. Roman Reigns kicked out, it wasn't broken up. Oh man, Brock almost pinned the champion. Brock has busted open Roman Reigns. Edge is in. Tie up. Knee to the midsection. Look at Roman is in a bad way. He tags in Mace. Double axe handle. Mace goes right back to Roman Reigns. Edge. Execution on to the big dog. Edge, instead of going for the cover, he was going for something extra. Didn't work out for him. That was a mistake. Edge should have gone for it right after the execution. Roman Reigns, a bloody mess. The same move that beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, but Big E breaks it up. Well, this is the, the issue with these six-man tags. It will go on for a while. Do 2K patches something? Oh, my God. I don't mean to make light of the situation. That almost looked like a Ridge Holland move right there. But Big E got dropped on the top of his head. T-Bar. Put an edge. In enemy territory, Edge fights out of it. DDT on the T-Bar. T-Bar tags Mace. Like a modified Shattered Dreams right there. And back into the other corner. In comes Roman Reigns. And Roman takes down Edge. Roman Reigns not paying attention. Brock Lesnar's in. And he's got Reigns right where he wants him. Well, I thought he did. Reigns fights out of it, sends Brock up and over. Edge is down, Brock is down. And the undisputed champion towering over both oh my god Roman Reigns went up and over and he hit the floor hard T-Bar got rocked but he answers back Brock and T-Bar fighting Big E and Roman fighting Brock going to work on T-Bar. Referee up to five. Here comes Roman. Brock Lesnar's got to focus now. Roman going after Edge. This one's breaking down, folks. This is completely breaking down. Brock Lesnar is going to go get Roman. Roman hammers Brock back, and now we're heading to the floor. There are countouts in this match, so they got to be careful. Retribution won their WrestleMania match by countout. Brock is back in. And Brock got distracted. He got dropped on the back of his head. Mace is in. Brock's still going after T-Bar. T-Bar must have said something. Counter after counter after counter. Look at this. Headbutt. I don't know how hard that mask is. Mace. Choke slams the beast. Brock Lesnar is out at one. What is it going to take here on Monday Night Raw? Oh my god.
Brock wants out. Here comes Big E. Big E and Mace. Big E. Big ending. He in the wrong place, though. Yeah, that was, a, that was the wrong move by Big E. Brock hits the spear on T-Bar. Big uh, E is going to powerbomb T-Bar. Gorilla Press nails it. Big splash by Big E. Another big ending. Oh my god. They've got to fix this. <laughs> 2K has got to fix this. I don't know how they game tested this and just said, oh yeah, this is good enough. Release it, it's good. I mean, it's a good match, but good lord, it drags. German suplex is here by Brock. I'm running out of things to say. I mean, this is been a 30-minute match almost. But all these six-man tags. Like I said, maybe I just got to do uh, tornado rules until they patch this thing. Maybe that'll be the big thing at WrestleMania Backlash, all the tornado rules. All right, here, we're going to we're gonna see. I'm going to try to control or assign. We're going to control Edge in this one. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Feltzer can get out of here. Oh my god, they don't let me get... It's killing me. They don't even let me get in there and break it up. Alright. Down to Mason Lesnar. I'm controlling Edge now. I'm back in this. I hate that the freaking ref even, like, stopped you. That's so annoying. Brock Lesnar going to town on Mace. Edge and Roman championship preview. Big E and T-Bar. Brock. No, Brock. Keep Mace in the ring. Oh, my God. Roman dropping Edge on the floor. Edge taking everyone out. Big E back in there with Mace now. It's like the end of days on to Big E. I think it's going to come down to Mace and either E or Brock. We got no other choice. Brock Lesnar's back in. Roman's down. T-Bar's down. It's a double team. Our heroes, they're looking good in this one. Brock Lesnar. He's going to town on Mace right now. Oh boy, this could be it. He's got up Mace. F5. And the never ending six man tag has come to an end. Brock Lesnar, Edge, Biggie. They defeat Roman Reigns and Retribution. Brock Lesnar pinning Mace. So that puts, if you count WrestleMania, 
That makes Retribution 2-2 two and two against Brock with the WrestleMania win and the three-on-one win. But Brock has pinned Slapjack and Mace over the past two weeks. An incredible match, but yeah, that's something uh, 2K has really got to fix. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. That has got to be a big fix. And all they have to do is program it to make your partners run in and stop the other team's partners. Like, it's that simple. Uh, let's recap what we've seen so far, because it's been a good one. We had Asuka taking down the women's champion, Charlotte. She's going to get her title match at WrestleMania Backlash. Drew McIntyre defends and escapes. With 24-7 championship, Reckoning and Retaliation, they move on to the four-way Raw Women's Championship match at WrestleMania Backlash. That could last a long time. we got to make that a tornado also. Becky Lynch, she taps out Nikki A.S.H. quickly. What an effort by Angelo Dawkins, but it was Finn Balor who gets the win. He moves on to take on Sami Zayn at WrestleMania Backlash. Nakamura. Upended by Apollo Crews thanks to the interference of one Damian Priest. What is going to happen? Is that going to turn into a triple threat match at WrestleMania Backlash? Well, you guys are going to have to stay tuned and find out. Then we had, boy, I had a good run in the beginning. I did lose the last three, didn't I? Huh. Um, I guess I did good in the multi-man matches. But we had an incredible contest between Dolph Ziggler. And AJ Styles, it ended with Styles getting the win over the Andre Battle Royal winner. And then finally in the main event, it was Big E, Edge, and Brock defeating Retribution. So, let's take a look at NXT. We're going to sim through it. Let you get a look. We're going to get a little preview of SmackDown. And then, uh, it's about 12.30 at night, so it'll be time for bed. So... Let's, uh, let's simulate all and see what we got. We had Isaiah Scott, the North American champ, defeat Cameron Grimes. We had Cedric Alexander picking up the win over Tucker. we got to get MVP away from those two. He's with uh, Lashley. Dexter Loomis defeating Alexander Wolf. How about that? We had Raquel Gonzalez over Mickey James. That's the NXT Women's Champion. Now, we did say we are going to play all the takeovers. We won't play NXT, although we are going to Go through the matches. I got to take Dakota Kai away from Raquel Gonzalez, too, because Dakota Kai is on the main roster. But we will do all the takeover matches. Samoa Joe, he defeats the NXT champion, Braun Breaker. My goodness. And then in your main event, Imperium defeating Mustache Mountain. So there you go. Now we'll get a little Friday Night SmackDown preview. Of course, we reserve the right to edit any and all matches. Zayn and The Miz. Probably edit that. Oh, two baddies against each other. Rhea Ripley and Shotzi against the Retribution. We've seen that match before. Probably edit that. Gargano and Theory. A lot of return matches we're seeing here. Um, Corbin and Nakamura. They say it's a possible rivalry match. I don't know. Uh, Roman Reigns and Diesel. Eh? Yeah, we're probably going to edit a lot. Yeah, we're going to edit most of these matches because they don't make sense in the, uh, the terms of what we got going on. So... That SmackDown will be edited, but we're getting closer. WrestleMania Backlash around the corner, folks. Uh, Mace, I, I imagine he got hurt. He was in that match forever. Oh yeah, Mayu Iwatani. We gotta get a. Uh, we gotta get Thunder Rock back in action too. They weren't part of the women's tag team tournament. Maybe, maybe we get a uh, Eu and Mayu. Eo and Mayu part of a uh, SmackDown as well, but um. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what we got so far. SmackDown rivalries, some NXT rivalries growing. We got nine potential rivalries on Raw. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the uh, maybe something with Gargano and Lashley on SmackDown to heat that up again. Or I guess we can make our own rivalries, can't we? Happy Corbin and Moss. No, that's not going to be a rivalry. They're partners, man. That one's that one's done. But that is a rivalry. Drew Gulak. That one too. That's out of here. Oh, I just accidentally started a rivalry. I did not mean to do that. Okay. 
So you can start rivalries. Interesting, interesting. Well, let's throw this one in there because we know we want that to be a match leading up to WrestleMania Backlash. And um, we know this one as well. I like it. Okay. That's what we got. Does that affect uh, SmackDown at all? I guess they're quote-unquote Monday rivalries, even though it's all the same show. Um, yeah, nothing else changed there other than maybe we'll get some Lashley involvement here. But that'll do it, guys. Thanks for joining us. Two parts because we had that one crash. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you later, everyone.